It's possible to convert your long PDFs that people are going to struggle reading to an engaging video presentation in just a few seconds, and let me show you how. Hey everyone, my name's Alec, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use Synthesia's AI Assistant to create engaging video presentations with like no effort at all. Now, first of all, before we get started, did you know that 97% of learning and development professionals find video more effective than text-based documents? What this means is that if you are creating PDFs and not turning them into videos, you are missing out. And especially seeing as it takes very little work to actually make a good video from a PDF thanks to Synthesia's AI. And I'm gonna show you how to convert a PDF to video with AI and make it engaging, but I'm also going to be using a real world example. And so keep watching and let's change the world one PDF at a time. And not just PDFs, by the way, you can actually convert any documents like PowerPoints, etc. So let's take this YouTube Trends report, for example. It's 34 pages long, a 34 page PDF. Now, I find this topic interesting. I want to read it. It's a trends report about everything that happened on YouTube in 2024, but I don't have the time. And to be honest, I'm quite lazy and I can't be bothered to go through a 34 page PDF. And this is for a topic that I'm interested in. Now, imagine all of those mandatory PDF docs that you have to go through at work. I bet most people don't. And I want to go back to that statistic, by the way. 97% of learning and development professionals find video more effective than text-based video, not just because it's more engaging and easier to consume, but it also helps you retain the information better. And so if I was YouTube, I would take this 34-page PDF and then run it through Synthesia to make an engaging video presentation in minutes. And here's exactly how to do that. So once you're on Synthesia, and the link is going to be in the description, by the way, all you want to do is click on AI Video Assistant. Here, we're then going to be prompted to create a video and the AI Video Assistant is going to help us. So the very first thing we want to do is we want to make sure that we select File. You can go from an URL if you're turning a blog post into a video or if you already have a script, but I've got this YouTube Trends report. I want to share this and I want to make sure that people consume it. And so what I'm going to do is literally just go and find my Trends report. So I've got it here in my downloads and I'm going to open it up in Synthesia. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose the template that I like. And so I actually quite like this presenter right here. I also feel like she matches the YouTube colors. So I would select her right here. And now we can actually have a quick browse through the template just to be sure that we like it. So I'm gonna click on use template. Then below this in the left, we have the brand kit. And this is where the magic comes in, right? So YouTube, obviously they want their content to have their colors. They want to have their red, they want to have their white, and they want to have their black. And so if I click on this, I actually made one earlier specifically for YouTube. As you can see, Alex brand kit YouTube. So as a company, you can make your own brand kit with your own logo, your own colors. You can even choose your favorite presenters, but you would select that. And then down at the bottom, you want to choose the length of your video. So this trends report is 34 pages. So I think five minutes would be a decent length to condense this PDF down to. And then under the length drop down, we also have a few other things right here. So the objective, the audience, the language. So by default, I'm going to select English. And next, what I want to add is the objective. And what the objective does is basically allows us to give the AI a little bit of guidance in terms of what we want to get out of this video. So I might type highlight the top trends from this report and educate the viewers on why they were important. Perfect. And then the audience, I might say YouTubers, right? We could be speaking to YouTubers. And after that, you go and also choose who the speaker is. You could actually add the tone. But here we just click on create outline. And now what happens is Synthesia's AI video assistant will go ahead and create a video outline from this PDF structure. And so I'm just going to give this a few seconds to load. And while this is loading, I do want to mention that Synthesia actually has a free plan that you can go ahead and try out for free just by clicking the links in the description below. Okay, so now we've got our outline that's been made. And as you can see here, we've got a few different chapters. And we can actually go through and check that we're happy with these chapters and the outlines that are going to be covered within each chapter. And I do want to mention that this is an outline. It's not the actual script. So if we did want to make some changes to it, now would be the time. So for example, let's say I don't like the part about gaming, right? If I don't want to talk about gaming within my presentation, I might completely remove the chapter. Or I could go into a chapter and remove remove one of the bullet points or change it entirely. So if I didn't want that one, I could remove it entirely. And then once you are done modifying the structure of your video, you just click create video. And now based on the outline that it gave you and the edits that you made to it, it's going to give you a full 
video about the YouTube Trends Report, which again, we can fully customize, which I'm gonna show you right now. And so as you can see, the full video is being generated right now with the script and the specific scenes. And so if I scroll back up to the top, we've got specific scenes for each little paragraph that's going to be said within our video, and they are all on brand. We've got the black, the white, and even the YouTube logo. And once this is actually finished, we can then go through and change and modify anything within this video. But here's a quick preview before I make any changes. Digital platforms are transforming music and entertainment. Artists like Sabrina Carpenter and Kendrick Lamar are leading the charge, setting trends and redefining genres. So just like you would change a PowerPoint, on the left here you have all of your scenes and each and every one, everything is fully customizable from the presenter on the screen to all of the text that actually appear. Now, if I just go back to the very first one and I click preview. Imagine a world where digital franchises redefine pop culture. This isn't a distant future, it's happening now. So as you can see in this video, we've got everything. We've got the text that appears with a nice, smooth, slick animation. We've got a presenter, we've got the YouTube logo, but you might have noticed that the presenter's mouth wasn't actually moving and the lips weren't synced to the audio. And that is solely because when we preview within the editor, the lip sync isn't generated. But when we click on generate in the top right, once we've made our final touches, we'll be able to see the avatar. Now I do wanna mention that if we did wanna change the actual avatar, we can click replace avatar and you can go and choose any avatar that would suit your brand or your company. And all of the avatars with the little purple icon right here means that they are expressive avatars, meaning they adjust and adapt their tone of voice and delivery to the context of the script. But for now, I'm just going to stick with this avatar right here. If I wanted to make any changes to the script, I can totally do that. So instead of saying, imagine a world, we could actually say, imagine a universe. And just by typing, imagine a universe where digital franchises redefine pop. The video has been edited, which is crazy. And so now while we were previewing, I noticed in the second scene that there was a bit of B-roll and stock footage that I didn't like. And so I'm gonna change it and it's very easy to do. But before I do, I just wanna mention that the watermarks that you actually see, so there's the Getty Images watermark right here, is only visible during the editing session. Once you actually click generate, all watermarks are removed. So I'm just gonna click on it and I click replace video. And here I'm going to search for digital architect. Okay, so I like this a little better. I think it works nicer. So now I can go ahead and preview this scene. Creators like Gooseworks are the new architects of culture. Their work isn't just content. It's perfect. I feel like this suits it a little better. And so essentially here, everything is customizable. Now, the very last thing I want to add to make this just a little bit more engaging is music. And so on the right here, I can search for some music. And now I'm just going to search for something in the digital tech theme. I haven't found anything. So let's just search for tech. And let's preview Tech Nostalgia. I think this sounds great. So now what I can do is click on Add, and then I just make sure that I change all at the bottom to add it to all the scenes. And so now if I click on Generate, I can export it. But before I do, there's a couple of options. So first of all, we've got a title. I can change the title if I want to. There's also a description, and these both have been generated by AI based on the context of the PDF. And then at the bottom here, we've got the number of chapters, and I can also choose to burn the captions in or not. I don't want any captions burnt in on the video, and so I'm just gonna click Generate without the captions burnt in. And so now once your video is finished generating, it will be available here and take a look at this. Imagine a universe where digital franchises redefine pop culture. This isn't a distant future, it's happening now. From amazing- And that's it. Pretty cool, right? So instead of a boring 34 page PDF, you now have an engaging video. If you click the link in the description, you can go ahead and try it. And I'm sure you'll quickly realize how efficient and useful this tool is. Thanks for watching. And if you want to see more videos like this from Alec, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe.